Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm really excited because in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and giving my initial thoughts on some kilties designed by my friend, my buddy at Nerdin with Boots, otherwise known as Trinity Handmade. He created his own leather making, leather working brand, and I am all about small batch makers. Even though kilties has not necessarily been my particular style up till now, I will say that I've never actually tried them in my boots. And I know that other people, like my friend Angel at Nobleman's Apothecary, he also does something similar, where he does what's called the reboot kit, where he'll send you some kilties and some, some boot laces from a Pisca range laces, known as the toughest laces ever. He, he does a reboot package. Well, my friend Nerdin with Boots at Trinity Handmade, he actually, he started designing his own kilties, and he has ordered a lot of cool stuff for it. So I wanted to kind of get this review going so that I could like, you know, give my initial thoughts on this. So yeah, we started talking. He actually reached out to me. He was just asking for sizing advice on some Truman boots, but then he started because of the lockdown and because of the COVID-19 and everything, he's a tattoo artist. And so he hasn't been able to work in his shop. And so his shop is shut down. And so he's trying to figure out a way to do to get some additional income going. So I thought that was very noble. Yeah, so he's been sending me pictures, like sample pictures of what the different kilties look like in the different boots, and some natural ones, some brown chrome XL, some waxed flesh ones. Yeah, he's ordering different leathers, trying different stuff out. He's in the testing phase right now. So I'll include pictures of like what we've been collaborating back and forth on talking about you know he considers this a hobby but it's it's great i think it's great he, he also did some carabiners he's just kind of been at work trying to trying to figure out like how to best formulate his brand and execute the products design the products so i'm very excited to see what he's got in store and i'm very excited to try these kilties out because i've actually like i said i never tried them and also he does a th he actually designed his own brand logo as well it looks really really cool so i'm excited to see what he comes up with next but for now i'm going to start i'm going to unbox these because even even though he said that his boxing wasn't anything spectacular i started to open it and i could smell that horween that beautiful Horween smell coming out, and I actually disagree. I think his boxing is very nice. Check this out. So I haven't fully opened it up yet, but soon as I saw this, like the way that it was wrapped up in, in this really nice paper, along with the, the strings tied shut, and he also left a note. It said, Dale, thank you, brother, from Jimmy. Um, and he's got the three, the three nails for the three Trinity here that he drew himself. So I think that's really cool. I love personal hand touches like this. It's not something that, that I always used to appreciate, but I definitely appreciate it now. As a collector of things and as a leather aficionado, a leather enthusiast, I've really come to really appreciate things like that. So anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Yes, so kilties, they're also known as false tongues. Oh wow, that rough out end is incredible. I'm leaning much more towards that rough out side right there. Wow. Olive, natural, and dark brown. And brown waxed. There's just something about Chrome XL. I love, freaking love Chrome XL so much. So here we have dark brown wax flesh. So dark brown Chrome XL, dark brown wax flesh, the natural. I love them all. I love them all so far. So each one has a different pattern. So I'm gonna show this off as well. So on the olive rough out one, it's just a standard, a standard pattern, plain. On the brown chrome XL, it's also plain. Brown waxed flesh, it's got these cool little notches here. Very nice, very cool, very neat. And then on the natural, it's got these this this frayed sharper edging as well. So, so three different types. I wanted to kind of get, try a few different kinds out because I imagine this is gonna be kind of like laces. Like you don't know what lace is gonna work with the boot until you put the lace in the boot. That's been true my entire time collecting boots. So I assume it's gonna be the same thing with these. The kilties, or also, they're also known as false tongues, are going to be different to pair up with some different boots but I'm gonna start doing that next. I just kinda wanted to get this initial video out, get my first impressions out, 
of this stuff because I gotta say, like, it's a lot of fun accessorizing. If you're the type that likes to accessorize like me, this is gonna be a lot of fun figuring out what boots th these are gonna pair best with. And yes, I'm all about accessorizing. I'm all about trying out new things. And this is just an extension of that. If you haven't already, give my friend Jimmy a follow. He's at Nerdin with Boots, Nerding with Boots, otherwise known as Trinity Handmade. Very nice guy, very creative guy. Like I said, he's a tattoo artist, so he already has an eye for aesthetics. So throwing these into some of my boots, and he's already thrown some into his boots, they look incredible. I can't wait to start trying this stuff out. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm on Instagram. Like I said, follow Nerdin with Boots. Um, he's the account to follow today. Um, don't follow me today, follow him. He's coming out with some great stuff and I can't wait to see what he rolls out with next and I'll be posting updates with how these look in my boots because this is this is awesome. This is my first time trying these out. I'm super excited for this. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. I will see you all in my next video.